Alrighty guys, how's it going? So I know it's been a few days, but um, I have been hunting and filming and doing all that stuff and those videos will be taking longer to uh, edit and uh, put together as the hunting season progresses. But today, uh, I just thought to uh, get a video, I, I would do a quick how-to of something I've never done before. And that's gonna be repairing a zipper on this Light Fighter 1 tent uh, that I got from Misty Mountain Surplus with these tents. You know, they come in various used conditions. If you buy one new, it's like 400 and some, even like a full kit's I think 500 and some dollars. But you can buy them in very good condition, uh, you know, for around the $200 mark. And this one is in almost flawless condition. No holes, no tears in the mesh. Um, it did, it just has a, uh, a broken zipper. And I also do need to clean uh, the interior zipper so they're a bit smoother because wherever this one was used uh, it had to have been a very sandy or dusty environment and I believe that's why that one zipper failed because it was just so caked in uh, some type of really fine dirt slash uh, sand and then over here I got my uh, VM Outdoor hot tent that we'll be using very very soon with a, you know a foldable wood stove um, I need to seam seal it because it was, they sent me that tent, um, and it was a demo model, meaning that, you know, it's been set up, took down, probably used at shows, all of that type of stuff, uh, and so I need to seam seal it, and there's just a few tiny, tiny, just like microscopic, uh, pinholes that I've noticed, which, you know, that's going to come into play if you, uh, you know, receive a, a demo model, uh, like that, but I'm happy to say that I stretched it super tight, none of the holes, like, no tearing, so whatever type of ripstop material they use is very solid and we can just dab over those very tiny holes with the seam sealer. If you're seeing this video, that means one of these zipper sizes right here fits. I just got this in the mail. I ordered this off Amazon of different zippers. Comes with the pliers. So we're gonna try to uh, figure this out together. The zipper uh, that has this I issue is the one on the rain fly. So as you can see, it has completely separated from the opposite side of the zip. So I believe all we got to do is come down here, remove this stitching uh, to take and be able to remove the old zipper. And then we can take and replace it. This one right here still works fine. So I hope to leave it on and just figure out what size that is. Um, and I would really like to know what it is exactly that caused that. I've took and got most of the dirt and dust off of this thing. But right now, really, the only thing managing to keep the rain fly on is the Velcro. So you would have that as an emergency backup. But, I mean, as you can see, all the mesh and stuff on this bad boy is in great shape. You know, the idea of cutting the stitching on a rain fly of any tent bothers me. But this one being as expensive as it is. And it, you might be able to see some of that dust still flying off that's caked down in that zipper and afterwards you can always take <clears throat> another piece of material and sew it on because i don't think that the clasp of material that they got in this kit is really going to work for this type of material but we just got to get that off of there so we can access that And we'll see if we can get this to come off. Okay, we got that one off. Okay, these look very, very similar, so.
Jesus. Okay, well, this thing is only going to go one direction for sure. I've been screwing with this to the point where I have a legitimate headache, so I think we can actually get it closed now. I've never wanted to drop kick a tent so bad in my life. And it's still separated. Phenomenal. I don't know how we're going to repair this zipper. Good old fashioned way. Okay. Well, not even that wants to work. So there's a strip of fire starter for later. That won't go to actual waste. It's just the teeth on this zipper are, uh, are screwed. The only other thing is they got these little clip things that you can push through like that you normally put at the ends of the zipper but with this solid material there we might be able to use these Oh, okay, that's all I'm doing with that. And we'll, uh, like I said, we'll give it a little feel. The biggest thing now, though, is like, you know, kind of being able to block the wind. Though. That's really the main thing I'm looking for with it, using it in winter. So that's why being able to close the rain, like being able to close this matters. And then for like full-on rain protection, I got those 6 a.m. outdoor ultralight tarps that are super small and don't weigh anything. So we could just drape that over this tent. So really the only thing we utilized out of the uh, zipper kit, because I, I think it's just, I mean, I'm not no seamstress, but I think the teeth on the zipper are just screwed. The Franken stapling job holds it together. So, and I mean, in all actuality, I believe that would repel light rain just fine. But like the seams and stuff on this seem taped and everything fine. Okay, so for the seam sealing, I'm using this Gerade stuff. This is only going to take two seconds to show because literally all you do is brush it on the seam. You just want to make sure that the tin is pretty clean, uh, but most importantly that it's dry. Take and knead the bottle a little bit. And if it's the bottle, if the liquid's really cold, or well, it's more of a gel, if it's really cold, <clears throat> then take and warm it up by putting it you know, against your body or outside. Full end. You can just take the end of the hand brush that comes with it you screw the application brush on and then you just kind of squeeze it out then brush a layer down the stitching and a little bit goes a long ways with this stuff and you just repeat the process now with a tent like this you might have to take um and undo like a certain guy out point so that i can get my feet underneath it and reach the higher sections but on all the application process is that simple so there you have it guys that was the extremely frustrating process of attempting to and semi-successfully fixing a zipper on a light fighter one tent um uh, yeah that was very just frustrating because i was still hoping to try to leave and go hike and hunt a little bit this evening but we'll see what happens because i do need to get this seam sealed asap so as always guys thanks for watching please just thumbs up button subscribe to share the channel with your friends family anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities and until the next one adios